What was that? Shit. Who the hell was that? Stefano Valentini is one of the main antagonists in The Evil Within 2, and the first one that you'll encounter in the game. In fact, he's the first enemy that you'll encounter, period, after Sebastian has been plugged into Stim, setting the mood for the player as they get up close and personal with some of his art. <sighs> you see, Stefano fancies himself to be an artist, and in fact, he was brought to Union for just that, to bring more artistic personalities to the town. But that's not where his story begins. You see, before Stefano had even found his true calling, he was a wartime photographer, capturing images of the battlefield to share the hardships of conflict with the masses. One day, however, while on the job, he got a little bit too close to some of the action and, as is a major downside to this occupation, he found himself in harm's way when a grenade went off taking his right eye. But while for some this may have been the worst moment of their lives, for Stefano, it was a rebirth opening his eye to what true art really was. For that same grenade that had claimed his eye had claimed another victim as well, and Stefano had captured the exact moment the shrapnel had extinguished their fire. Enthralled by this newfound passion of capturing mutilated people at the moment of their death, Stefano sought to expand upon this masterwork and to share his art with the masses. But, unfortunately, they were ignorant. They couldn't appreciate the beauty in Stefano's works, the glory of his art. After all, flesh was the perfect medium for his work. Even if it was at the cost of a friend's life, there's nothing more important than the sculpture. So he sought refuge somewhere where he could express his art unhindered by the common rabble who wouldn't understand its beauty, eventually stumbling across Theodore Wallace's Muse Center, which touted the phrase, create a better reality. The reality that you want, not the one that they, want for you. Intrigued by the concept of complete freedom to pursue his art, Stefano took the center's spiritual acuity test and attained the role of Truth Seeker, and as a result of his application to the group, was also selected by Mobius to take part in their new STEM project. And after a, let's say, less than truthful interview with Yukiko Hoffman, was given the green light to be placed inside of Union. Set loose in Union, Stefano pursued his art. Not only works that were to be admired by his audiences as majestic set pieces such as Lisa Crane, but also living, breathing art. Art that will chew you up and rip you in half if you spend too much time soaking in all of its glory. With arguably his three most impressive works being the camera-toting beauty Obscura, Meet my beautiful Obscura. The wondrous human amalgamation known as the Guardian. Shit. <laughs> and Stefano's eye in the sky, the Arbiter. And as his skills as an artist began to grow, so too did his fan base. While Stefano was in Union, he was approached by a man named Theodore Wallace, leader of the Muse Center, who offered Stefano a deal. Find Stim's core, a girl named Lily Castellanos, in exchange for rewards you could never imagine. Stefano was intrigued and accepted the offer. He searched for the girl all around town, eventually cornering her in the warehouse before taking her back to the theater. But a nuisance had been on his tail. The girl's father, Sebastian. Of course, he was no threat to Stefano. 
Even if he was a bit tougher than the other Philistines that Mobius had sent in, he still wasn't a true contender. So why not allow his fear to fester? Why not allow the Guardians to have some fun or Obscura? Maybe Stefano could even get him to appreciate the beauty of his art. Perhaps, given a showcase of some of his best works, this critic could be shown the error of his ways. After all, what is art without an audience? But, alas, true art is never appreciated in its time. This Neanderthal had destroyed Stefano's works, tried to get him, the great artist, to bend to his will, tried to stop Stefano from creating such wonders, just like Mobius, trying to squander his talents and ruin the haven that he could build here. With Lily's power, he could control this world and perfect his craft. To hell with Wallace. With the power of the core, he could create something beautiful of this world. Create art the likes of which had never been dreamed of. And as for Sebastian, well, as we've seen time and again, there are always beautiful ways to silence our critics.